We're vlogging again. Here I am. Today is the second to last day that Phoebe's in quarantine, so tomorrow is our final day. We are all going crazy. And I think even Mario's going crazy today because he hissed at her. He's never hissed at her before. And I think, like, we all just need to get out of this house. And I got the news. So Phoebe was supposed to go to my parents Wednesday and Thursday, and my mom asked if we wanted her to just stay overnight. And I was like, yes, yes I do, yes I do. So this is going to be the first night that Scott and I just like have to ourselves in I don't know, since before we had her because she has done an overnight with them but it was like a couple weeks ago for the wedding so we were like busy doing wedding stuff so it wasn't really like a break or a, just like a chill time. And like normally I wouldn't like force her on my parents but not only do I need like a break but this house it just, it's a lot. And Scott and I are gonna go out to dinner. We haven't gone out to dinner. I think maybe since she's been born, we've gone out to dinner two or three times ever. So we're gonna go get some dinner. We're gonna food shop. I got so excited. I was like, oh my God, we can food shop together. We haven't food shopped together since I was pregnant. And even then it was like in the middle of the pandemic and we were only going to Target. Like we're gonna go to like a real supermarket and food shop together. Like. Sounds like a dream. I feel like this little break that I know is coming in like 48 hours, well even less, more like 36, it has made my stress level just like, whew. I've been on edge like crazy the last couple days. Like, we need a break. We need to get out of this house. Like besides her getting out Wednesday and Thursday at their house, like we basically have like lots of plans just to like keep her busy because I don't think she really liked being trapped in here with us. Friday, there's a local farmer's market that we can actually walk to. So we're gonna try to see if she would like that. Because they actually, the first one last Friday, they, of course, like during her quarantine, like all these cool like activities around us were happening and we couldn't even take her. And then Saturday, I think we're gonna go to Scott's mom's house to see her for Father's Day weekend. And then Sunday morning for Father's Day, Scott's gonna do a bike ride with his sisters, but Sunday night we're gonna go to my parents house for some sort of dinner I don't know if we're gonna do like a takeout or a barbecue or something but getting her out of the house Scott's off next Monday too so we have one day left of this craziness and then we survived that's how I feel I feel like we are survivors because it has been long tiring cranky stuffy just trapped allegedly our deck is going to get started this week I'll believe it when I see it I cannot wait for the deck I feel like I've been hyping up this deck for so long because we literally like, I guess we like planned this all. We like signed all the paperwork in March. So it's been a while coming. I am excited for a break from this craziness. Good morning. We're back at it. So I wanted to say this dollhouse, oh my goodness. She was independently playing so well this morning. It has been wonderful. And I also feel like at nighttime, the mess in the house has decreased because she's putting so much focus into just playing with this. She's not like dumping things out everywhere. It's been quite wonderful. It is not even eight o'clock yet and she's asleep because she's up, I'm pretty sure at 4.30 this morning. So definitely a two napper day. We just found out that Scott's sister tested positive so we won't be able to be seeing her for Father's Day weekend, so. All those things I was talking about like yesterday, I don't know what the change of plans are gonna be. That is just like, it's kind of what I was trying to avoid by like not having people help us out with Phoebe was I was like trying to not make it be like COVID down the lane and now we're kind of COVIDing down the lane. Today's our last day in isolation with Phoebe. We are all ready to get out of this house. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I introduced Phoebe to just like regular crayons and she's been liking them. It's been a struggle getting her not to eat them, but we're working on it. I have so many crayons because I saved all my crayons from when I was a kid and I have them organized downstairs in my basement. So like she broke the green and red yesterday. So I was able to <laughs> come in here and replace the green and red <laughs> with a fresh one. Eventually, I do have a plan when she's a little older, but we'll do an activity where we can take all our old broken crayons and melt them together and make like fun shaped crayons. That's not a 17 month old uh, activity though. We also made, I didn't vlog this, this was Sunday I think, we made oobleck, which is water and cornstarch and it's a very interesting consistency. I don't know if she loved it, but she didn't hate it. I mean, luckily when she woke up this morning, she was in a good mood. Scott actually laid down and went back to sleep just now. Um, I'm gonna regret that. Maybe if she takes a second nap, I'll do it, but I wanted to eat some breakfast. 
documenting that for the third time this month, I've had time to put on makeup. And one of those three times was the video that you guys saw me film with all the recap of all the crazy that's going, going on around here. So sometimes an early wake up is beneficial to me. All right. Guess what? What, no. I'm sitting near your face? No one has seen you since pre-wedding. Why? Because we disappeared into the abyss. Yeah. So I wanted you to give your little two week, three week, however many week life update really quick. How you doing? I'm good, I'm alive, I'm well. <laughs> I already told them we're going her. food shopping. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her, so. I know, it's gonna be the longest that I've been away from her. And I think that's just like a day and a half. I have the black ring oh, on oh, since oh. the wedding. Oh, I have the black one on too. Clink. Our deck is getting demoed on Friday. Yeah, we think. We've been told. I mean, we've had the... As of this moment, that's the day. However, anything can happen. Anything can change. Uh, okay. That's been enough. Okay. Good night. Today is the day I've been longing for and both dreading at the same time. My parents have Phoebe and now I have to clean so many things. The main goal for today is cleaning like downstairs level, probably the basement, and I wanna see if I can get a bunch of laundry folded because there is a lot of laundry that needs to get folded and put away. My first project of the day is gonna be like the entryway to our house. So our house way set up is like, the entry room is our playroom because it's like a random room. But the actual entryway looks like this right now. I'm gonna get all these boxes cleared out, coats hung, that shelf cleared off, shoe shelf fixed, I literally have this diaper caddy here that has things from when she was still a baby because I haven't had time to clean it out. So just a lot of things that need to be like cleaned up and organized. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna time lapse too much today because I'm trying to like get in the zone, but I am also planning for the playroom besides cleaning it up. This corner that has the basketball net, the basketball net is gonna go on the deck. It's been just sitting in this room waiting for the deck for months now at this point. That corner is where I'm gonna move the dollhouse. Originally I was gonna put the dollhouse in the basement, but She's been very, very into the dollhouse, and I personally don't want to spend all day, every day in the basement. If that's what she wants to play with right now, I'm gonna just put it in this corner temporarily. So that's like the main plan for today. Well, that's the main plan for the morning, so I'm probably gonna fo focus on the entryway, and then I will probably eat, and then do some laundry, and then tackle the playroom portion. I think that's the plan. So I'll give you a full update right now. I am in like full reorganization mode right now. And I think Scott's gonna be very surprised when he gets home. I haven't even figured out what I'm doing. Just kind of like going with the flow. And Phoebe will definitely be surprised, but she will not be home until tomorrow night. So hopefully I can get everything done within these two days. That took a lot longer than I expected, but I finally finished the playroom. I'm very happy with how it turned out, but in taking stuff out of the playroom, I now have offset at other places that need to be cleaned, but I'm really happy with the way this room looks right now. I'm sweating. I'm gonna take a laundry folding break to like cool down a little, and then I'm gonna clean the bathroom down here next. I'm onto the kitchen portion, which is going to be the worst part because the kitchen got hit the hardest from all of us being sick. But I don't know if other people have an issue with their fridge constantly getting nasty because their kid puts magnets in their mouths and sticks them back on their fridge, but I have found the Dawn Power Wash is like my miracle product for cleaning the fridge. So that's what I'm doing right now before I, oh uh, yeah, not looking forward to that. I'm really starting to think that I was a little overzealous in my confidence in how much I could accomplish in one day with the state the house was in, but I just finished the kitchen and I'm guessing Scott's gonna be leaving work 
pretty soon, so he'll probably be back in an hour. I finished the kitchen, finally. Got it all cleaned up. Didn't actually think that was ever going to actually happen. I still have a couple more things I'd like to get done before he gets home, because then we're gonna go grab dinner and food shop and just chill. Yeah, hopefully I can get a couple things complete and then just like relax. Good morning. It is our first morning getting to move nice and slow. <laughs> I'm trying to take advantage of that. I mean, it of course is 6.30 in the morning because some furry animals here don't believe in sleeping in. Anyway, so last night we went out to dinner. We got Mexican and then Scott wanted to grab some donuts from a local donut place. So we got donuts and then we stopped in the Target because the supermarket we were going to was across the street from a Target and I'll show you what we grabbed. Mario proceeds to sit on it. You can say good morning. Good morning. I don't believe in sleeping in. So they had, it was like 20, per, you got an extra 20% off of any of the clearance like clothing. So I got two sets of 3T pajamas for Phoebe. This is from Carter's. So it's like long sleeves. So I'm thinking fall time this will fit her. So it's like cows and more cows. And then these are frozen. So there's, this set is Elsa and this set is Anna. And then the other thing I grabbed was I found this in the dollar spot. It's a little frozen umbrella. I don't think I'm gonna give it to her quite yet, but it was only $3 and I was like, I'm probably not gonna get a better deal on an umbrella, so. It's more like for fun when I feel like you're a toddler in umbrella than usefulness. And then we food shopped, dropped some stuff off to his sister and came home. My feet were killing me, I'm pretty sure from how much I had to run up and down all our steps all day yesterday cleaning. And I have to do upstairs today and upstairs is gonna be so much harder. Ugh. I'm not looking forward to it. So I basically finished cleaning upstairs. There's only so much uh, bleach I can inhale in a 48 hour period, so I'm gonna call it. I am about to make some pasta salad. I actually have a crock pot going back here. I'm making tacos tonight. So for my taco recipe, it's just a pack of chicken breasts, one and a quarter cups chicken broth, a can of Rotel and a packet of taco seasoning. And then you cook it on high for four to six hours and shred it, it's great. And then for pasta salad, I'm gonna use some penny. And then I cut up green pepper, red pepper, and some onion, and then add some, some zesty Italian dressing. I'm also going to be cutting up onion and peppers for the tacos. So I'm just gonna do like a big vegetable cutting session right now. All the chopping is done. So this is gonna be for the tacos later. So I cut up a red pepper and an onion, and I just cook it in a pan, add a little bit of garlic and some taco seasoning and oil. And then here is the pasta salad. Super good. I'm probably gonna edit a video right now that I filmed yesterday. Last night was crazy. She has too much energy, this kid. If you were around a few months ago when our clock fell, I still haven't replaced our clock. And then randomly yesterday, the blinds for this window right here, something broke and like they half fell down. There's no need new blinds there. But today is demo day on the deck. And let me just tell you something. That's the deck right there. So like now we're just like gonna be I level with this guy that's doing our deck demo. I can like show you the deck really quick. We took Phoebe out last night to say bye bye to it. Don't mind how fingerprinty and toy covered my glass door is. We said goodbye to our little deck here. We went out and we colored it in to say goodbye. Cannot wait to not have this red ugly deck that's like green and nasty. I will say that the deck isn't going to be my ideal color because where we live, there's like regulations for the colors you can choose. So like, that's the one thing that I'm like nervous about is that like, I'm not gonna like the color enough and it's gonna like ruin the vibe for me, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah, I'll see if I can get any footage of it being demoed today. So this is probably the last video gonna be of the full, full deck. The um, installer, he's gonna demo it soon. He already has, it looks like a mixing uh, cement thing out there. Say goodbye to, to all these fun decorations. Next clip, this should be a lot smaller. <laughs> and it's pretty small to begin with. Watching demo begin. Can you cl you're clapping for him? Clap, clap, clap. First big piece is gone. Currently where we're at, you can see lots of mysterious things that have been living under our deck. 
Why is there like a palm tree leaf or something? What is this random stuff? It's all the way on the right. Like that pop. is a marble. <sighs> That's definitely not ours. It's gone. When this is done, it's gonna look so good, even though I don't like the color. I'm gonna be happy with it existing. We're currently at the stage of lunchtime and a show. They're digging the holes right now. Do you like when they dig? Can you say dig, dig, dig? So it's nighttime. This is what it looks like. It's gonna be like this all weekend. It's kind of scary looking. But hopefully this time next week, we will have almost an entire deck, if not an entire deck. I am up extra early because of the two cats, as usual. I just painted my nails. I was gonna do it last night and then I just, like time got away from me and I was really tired. So I painted them this color from Zoya. It's actually called, she's <laughs> it, Karen. Uh, interesting choice name, but it's just like a red. I just wanted something like, bright and fun. Since the last color I had done was a KL polish in 1435, which was like a deep blue. Today, for Father's Day, all Scott wanted to do was go on a bike ride this weekend. So he's going on a bike ride today. And after Phoebe's nap at some point, they're gonna go visit his mom because she really hasn't seen Phoebe since the wedding. And even at the wedding, like it was chaos. So she really hasn't gotten to like hang out with Phoebe since before the wedding. So it's been like what? over three weeks, I guess, at this point. They're gonna go over to her house. I am going to try to film a video. We'll see how that goes. And we're gonna get dinner at a local restaurant. It's actually, I think it's like a chain along the East Coast. Like, I think it's in a couple of the local states. It's called Pat Select Pizza, but we don't get it for the pizza. We get it for the sandwiches. They have some of the best bread ever. They actually have really good, like, I would say non-pizza items are where they're really, like, it's really good stuff. And then tomorrow, I think he is gonna ride his bike with his older sister in the morning. And then in the mid afternoon, we're gonna go to my parents' house and we're gonna have dinner with my parents for Father's Day. <laughs> I can show you the, the gift we got my dad. Um, Scott actually found it. I was having a lot of like brain farts when I came to picking a gift for him this year and Scott, did, Scott came in handy this time. Also later, I can show you what we got Scott because he didn't want gifts. So we went very subtle this year, but I couldn't show you guys when we made it because he would have seen it in the vlog, but Scott picked out this shirt for my dad. And it is very, very, very accurate. And he's gonna like it and he loves and only basically wears gray t-shirts. So it's also very appropriate. Mm, either tomorrow, once he opens it, I'll show you. Or if I remember to show you before I wrap it today, I'll show you what we got him. Um, but we got him a book. And we, I had her make up something, which my mom helped with. And, oh, it wasn't as hard as when we made the fox for his sister. Let's put it that way, if you if you remember the fox. I can currently say that I appreciate the cats for waking me up so early because I got my nails painted, had some coffee, planned today's video, started editing this vlog, and realized I never told you guys about the farmer's market and what happened. I was getting ready. I was getting everything packed up. I was like trying to optimize how much we took because it's, it's a bit of a walk to get where we were going, but we could do it in a walking distance and not have to worry with the traffic and the parking and everything. And it was like 90 degrees out, so I was like packing all the essentials. But 20 minutes before, I happened to open Facebook and they canceled it. I was like, I would have been so annoyed if, <laughs> if we had left and I walked in this crazy heat to it and it was just like not there. I don't know, something about like the winds were too high or something and they were, tables were blowing over, I don't, I don't know, but it got canceled so we didn't get to go. And it was like, she'd been inside all day and I was like, last minute I put the, the water table outside for her to play with for a little. But like, we have to be really careful because the front of our house has a dumpster, the back of the house has three foot deep holes that she could just fall into. There's just like decking supplies out. Uh, it's just, it's not like a super safe environment outside our house right now. So had to be very careful about where we placed everything. So that was not ideal. Hopefully we can try to go next week. But yeah, that was that was a pretty big bummer that we couldn't take her last night. So hopefully we can go again in the future. Um, Scott and Phoebe went to his mom's house. They're actually on the way back right now. I filmed a little. I took a, I tried taking a nap. It lasted five minutes till I woke up thinking I'd overslept. So that was great. <laughs> we ordered like a storage 
thing for our deck and it wasn't supposed to come till Wednesday and now it's here. So that gets to be part of my decor this week. We ordered dinner from a place we like to get from. Of course, like we had a whole list of foods that we were like wondering if Phoebe could have and Scott called the restaurant and all of them have eggs, so. Pizza it is. I mean, <laughs> I feel bad at this. I mean, pizza is her favorite food, thankfully, but also like this kid gets a lot of pizza anytime we get takeout because egg apparently isn't every food and I didn't even know that until I, until this past year. I did already wrap his present upstairs, so I'll show it to you guys tomorrow when he opens it. We're just at a very difficult age with Phoebe. Like, there's so many things that are cool that she can do, but right now she is so clingy to Scott that it's like very difficult. Like, if he walks to the other side of the room, she has a complete meltdown because she like needs to be attached to him. Like the one day he went out to pick up dinner and she thought he was home and he was in the bathroom and she was just like freaking out at the bathroom door thinking like he was in the bathroom and wasn't answering the door. <laughs> it's been, it's been a difficult thing. It's been like quite a while of her just like needing her dad. And like, I get it. It's just, it's making our lives very difficult because like he has to like sneak out every time he does something, but like then she'll hear him sneak out. It's, just, it's difficult right now. Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day! Thank to Dada you. and Minnie. Minnie, Minnie. You got more in your mouth, huh? You want to show your, you want to show the vlog your new, your presents you got, Dada? Do you see Phoebe? Where's Phoebe? <gasps> you got a. There you go. You made daddy. You put this on. You, you made daddy a big hand. hand. Can you grab inside. <laughs> you got a book. <laughs> Thank you. This is exactly how it happened this morning. Thank you. And then Phoebe made. I this. love you, Dad. I was couldn't even have a here song to say. I... It's nighttime. It's time to close out Father's Day. Daddy's gonna tell us all about how his first, second Father's Day. My first, second Father's Day. <laughs> Went almost as well as my first yeah. first Father's Day. Almost, but not as good. No, I'm kidding. This Father's, this Father's Day was pretty good. I got to go bike riding and hang out with my baby. <laughs> and we went and <laughs> That's her saying Mario. Chinese food. <laughs> and that's Luigi. I eat all the food. <laughs> You want Mario to come up? How do you call Mario? How do you call Mario? Psst, psst, psst. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of this vlog. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.